Hi, this video is from interview.com. Indeed.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is the difference between CGLib proxy and JDK proxy. Spring's AOP is proxy based. Spring provides two different options, CK dynamic proxies and works work with, with interfaces. The other one utilizes CGLib and is based on classes. JDK dynamic proxies can only proxy by interface so your target class needs to implement an interface which will also be implemented by the proxy class here if you see I have a class my target class and I am implementing the ILO uploader interface so in this case I will be using JDK dynamic proxy in order to create a proxy class and proxy object so my proxy class will also implement this I uploader CGLib can create a proxy by subclassing. In this scenario, the proxy becomes a subclass of the target class. No need for interfaces. So I have a target class. I'll be subclassing my target class. So Java dynamic proxies can proxy file uploader implements I uploader, I uploader, whereas CGLib can proxy a simple Java class. Let's see a few points for CGLib proxies. The proxies are created by subclassing the actual target class. This means wherever an instance of the class is used, it is, it is also possible to use the CGLib proxy. The class needs to provide a default constructor without any arguments, otherwise you will get an illegal argument exception. Superclass has no null constructors but no arguments were given. This makes the constructor injection impossible. The proxy does not work with final methods since the pros proxy subclass cannot override the class implementation. Say you ha your target class has final methods. By subclassing, I cannot override the final methods, so I can't call those methods at all. And I can't use the viewing process for the final methods. Only for public other methods I can do. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.